So next up we have uh, Edmar uh, with a looks like a very international uh, presentation uh, on uh, RFID. Although I first met Edmar when I was actually when he was visiting uh, Notre Dame as a professor there, so he seems to go all over the place. So, Edmar. Thank you, Tom. Hi, Barry. Good morning. Uh, this is, uh, we presented to you some our experience using the radio uh, and to the development of an RFID system. This uh, this project was developed in cooperation with people from SSA in Grenoble, France, and uh, originally. And a uh, great part of this work was developed by this guy, Aurelian Bryan, that is a French guy that you stay with us in Brazil during the first six months of the year. And uh, originally, we had a, well, this is very no to everybody else. Uh, we can use an SDR for make our developments. But there is some points that I, I, I like to, sh to talk to you and the second part of this slide is essentially that in the development phase we can test various configurations of the of our development and uh, when we are when you, you are as us in a lab with a few resource to have an SDR like in the radio is a very very important tool and uh, by the other hand by the other side as I'm, a, as I'm a professor, not a developer, uh, using, using software-defined radio, specifically GNU radio, and classroom is a very useful tool. I have used it in my classrooms and communication systems, and it has it has been very useful to my students. But by the way, specifically about this project, we have a cooperation with people from France. And uh, in this cooperation, we, we work with uh, RFID. Originally, we don't have a software-defined radio in this cooperation. The guys in France, are they are specialists in RFID, specialists in antennas. And uh, we have a project to develop uh, cryptography aspects in RFID. So, when we make this, this setup for the project, we think about the very basic RFID system, composed just a reader, just by a tag, uh, and uh, we will think of that to use passive tag. I don't know if everybody here is uh, aware of RFID. I think uh, it's very common to everybody. And uh, we use the EPC generation to protocol, this is one of the protocol that you can use uh, with an FID. And uh, when you set up this project, you begin the cooperation. We, we have some questions post-project to ask. For example, we are in Brazil. The guys are in France. We are in this kind of cross transition of cooperation. But if you are in the middle of the cooperation, for example, you have no communication between the tags and the reader that we are using in Brazil. What is the problem in the communication? Is in the tag? Is in the reader? Is in both? Well, if you remember the previous slide, we talked about pre labs with few resources. We don't have a lot of readers and tags in my lab. So we, we, can, we can say to me, just plug another reader. If there is, if there is if communication appears, uh, the problem is in the reader, or use another tag. If the communication appears, the problem is in the tag. But it's not so easy to us to have some of readers or some of tags. And uh, there is another problem is that in Brazil, we use a, a certain frequency to communicate to RFID. In France, they use another communication frequency. So uh, we have to, to, uh, to to have a way to test these protocols that we have developed. We are, at that time, interested in cryptography. So 
every time you will develop the cryptography, uh, we are trying to test new protocols. And uh, if you have, for example, you develop a new cryptography protocol, you can test it. You can put in a tag, put in a reader to test to this in a real environment. So well, how do you do that? You can construct a new tag for each protocol. It's very expensive to us. It's not so easy to do. So at that point appears that what you can, oh, so the point appears that let's do this on, R on RFID and SDR. Why? Because if I have an RFID system, you can answer all of these questions. You can make all of our development more easier and and more cheaper. By the way, when I decide this, we'll look at the literature to lock to, to to see what had what have been had been developed. So we found some works, and these two works was remarkable to us because. Uh, both of this work was uh, was in the CGRAN. I think that everybody here is aware of CGRAN, and they will have access to, uh, access to source code. And uh, eventually, both of these works are interested in the reader part of the system. Guys that have developed this to test, or to test the performance of, of, our, of the reader, or to test the or to improve the 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 reader, trying to him to be a new company they call listener, and uh, uh, they use uh, commercial tags to test their, their system. So, since you have these projects in hand, we have decided okay, let use let's use one of these projects as a, our reader, and let's de let develop it or tag. And if you have these two components now, you can we have a complete flexible system. You can test our new features in a very easy way. You can switch frequency very easy way. You can switch protocol in a very easy, very easy way since that you have developed this. And uh, at that time we go to the development and uh, you decide to make something like this. Uh, this is a UBR RFID SDR system based on GNU radio. X, can you see? You have the reader, you have the tag. Our reader and our tag use two antennas, one for transmission, one for receiver, different from from commercial uh, RFID the, that use just two antennas. This is as a region. This is this has a, we have. We are motivated by the by that uh, we are using the SRP. You have a branch for transmitter, a branch for receiver, and we are trying. In, and people from our colleagues from France are interested to test some kind of trans multiple antenna transmission or multipolarization antenna, multipolarization transmit to, to RFID. And uh, we decided that okay, we have previous reader developed, let's use it, and let's concentrate on the tag, and let's do the as simple as possible development. Why this? Because we have to, we are treating with guys in France that are not software specialists. They are guys that work with Antina. They don't like to program, okay? Even in MATLAB. So let's say to you, okay, I would like this, but let's do this. Give me the as simple as possible system that you can use in here. And uh, we are looking for this. We say, okay, let's look for our tag software and split them in the two parts on transmission, three parts, sorry, receiver and processing. And uh, there is transmission, the recipient part, part we just use the Raspberry Pi the USRP and then using the block USRP source in the transmission USRP sync. So you can communicate in with the USRP and transmit and receiver and receive commands to the reader. This is the first this part. And in the processing part that we have opened the processing part and the 
you have put one block. This is, you can see here, is blocks in the GNU radio that we have developed. And uh, we have developed an R, uh, we, got, we call RFID get tag, gate tag, which means that this blocks, this gate, the sign on sent by the reader. The communication in RFID begins by the reader sending a query. The reader tracks the query and answer this query. So we have to put a block to uh, to track this query, and after this, the query was tracked correctly, we send to the second block that has to decode and analyze. This second block here that we call decode and analyze is responsible to, for is responsible for to decode bits, recognize commands, and here is the point you have marked a point where a developer can insert what he's trying to do. For example, if well, as we're trying to if you're trying to test a new cryptography protocol, you, there is a point in this block that you can plug in your development. Again, we're trying to do this as simple as possible. So with this kind of uh, uh, development, we have obtained our tag. And we have now to test this this system. And our test begins as, okay, let's take our reader, or SDI reader, and use a real tag to communicate. In test, if there is communication, and how it works. And uh, this is what the test, or what, what we have done. Just put the reader, pass the tag as many 30, uh, 30 times, and see what, how, how many comments, how many EPC codes, he received. You can see you can see that you have very successful receiver. Sometimes you have lost some tags. Sometimes you have some APC. Sorry. Sometimes you have received the APC error. And uh, you consider if this that okay, our reader works. Let's now test if you take our reader and put a real our SDR tag. Oh, sorry. And Using our SDR tag, you have obtained this, these results. N here appears something interesting, is that if you look in here by the num by numbers, using a real tag, you have six points, or you can see that as 65% of APC error, or six points success for APC. Here you have 11.5, which means that if you use my SDR, ta SDR tag, the reader will receive it more better. The reason reason for this is that our S or SD tag, SDR tag uses more power. As you have more power than a real tag. Uh, okay, and so we have counted make a lot of development and a lot of tests and do tests. Okay. How uh, how is the, the number of the ratio between the number of the reader received per the, by the tag send, and you have sent that the tags, the, the, the our reader, in 85% of the time can correctly obtain the EPC code. This is a this is in very interesting because you have a, a very reliable system in terms of uh, RFID. So there is more another another task but by the way okay you haven't since you have this system this uh, this str system we have seen that let's do let's implement one protocol and uh, let's just to see how the system comports we have decided to take this protocol that's in, uh, in transaction information theory and implement in our system here you can see that alice as the reader Bob and Eve as a tag. What means that Alice will send some comments, will send some bits, and the noise will affect the, these bits. Bob and Eve will receive these, these comments with errors, and with a sort of exchange of information, the, the, with certain steps, the idea is that 
when Alice and Bob exchange some information, the probability of error from that Bob of Bob receive is, is low and Eve, and Eve increase. What if you ask me where where you put the code of your of this protocol here? We have just written here and in the the code and analyze send you have just put your code there and uh, we have implemented this and uh, we show that you have to make some tests you can see this uh, error probability and uh, you have confirmed obviously that there is, it has you confirming the in theory and uh, in our application you have obtained this kind of probability and uh, if you look that this the final probability of error if that the intruder is 50 percent and the average probability of of bomb is 22 percent or 10 percent that's very good in these terms so with this system we have confirmed what we have we have proposed that uh, we have a, uh, an SDR that you can perform a lot of new tasks in this, this kind of in RFID. So to conclude my talk, I'd like to, to at first say that what we have done is just extend the previous work and it, we have obtained a complete RFID system. But I'd like to think people that share projects on Sigran and like to ask everybody of us to share more projects on Sigran. It's very important for people that are developing. Okay, I'm considering that everybody is aware of Sigran. And, uh, and the second point is that do not share, do not use, just share your project on Sigran. Uh, to actualize it. Maintain it, to actualize it. Okay, uh, this is uh, another thing very interesting. Uh, we have just implemented a protocol that have a, a cryptography for RFID, but at this point it was very interesting and very important to us because it was the first point for where for uh, where can we can test another protocols that we ha that we are, we are developing. And at this moment, we are working with more uh, elaborated protocol. We have working with transmission of uh, multiple antennas. We have worked with and they, they were, we are working with antennas with pol multipolarization to use in and in, in, uh, in RFID specifically to obtain cryptography, pro cryptography security. Uh, we have a, a paper accepted in this conference. And this that will be held in next month in France. Uh, and uh, now you have new functionalities that can be tested. Other specific protocols, this kind of multiple antennas. And uh, I think that is. Thank you. Um, for the RFID tag that you guys created, the SDR tags, you had stated that you were, um, your tags work better, they were picked up 11% of the time versus, what was it, 8% of the time for the previous tags. What power are you putting into, what, what are you emitting as far as power, and are you still within spec of RFID? And if you're not, so be it, but just a question. Okay, now do, have you used it? In the, in the RFID tag, we have put, uh, put the maximum of power that our daughter board can, can, can obtain. That you can legitimately put the spec? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. But uh, this is a, uh, we, we have to, we are trying to obtain as, as proximate as possible a real system. And you, you are, you are, one of the steps is you can decrease this 
to, 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 to stay in the same level mm -hmm. of a real tag. But the question is that passive tag work with reflection. And if you put much less power in the noise there, the receiver don't receive, you, you have problem in communication. So you, and, you have that, you're trying to balance that. Yeah, so we are looking for this balance. And, uh, and there is a point uh, I, I forgot to mention that you have, uh, we have used USRP1. Okay, you're using USRP1. Yes, and we have then had some loss in the communication between the, the computer and the, and the, and the tag. Because I think that because something like uh, something related to uh, scheduling in the, in the the Linux systems, and this is, there is some some guys working in, in, in this. Okay. Okay. And you've only tested this only with the USRP one, none of the other, none, not the other USRPs. We have just make a test with one USRP one. Recently, we bought USRP two, and as I as I I'm come to the United States. I'm for, I'm leave Brazil to stay here this year in Notre Dame, and the project has slowed down. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think that in January I returned. You can power power the project. <laughs>